In oil and gas terms, Wintersol is a very small company. How can you possibly compete with the majors? Okay, there are two points to answer your question. The first one is that we have with BASF a very strong mother in our background who gives us a lot of support. And on the second point is that we have a good portfolio of oils that is not so easy to get, where we gained a lot of experience and where we think we have a technical advantage compared to other companies. Now, you've been very successful in maintaining output in this field, including, for example, using steam technology. How does that work? Basically, in the late 60s, our people here found that heating up the oil reduces the viscosity. And by doing so, they could produce much better. This led to our first pro project we had here, a hot water injection, during the, or beginning in the early 70s until the late 80s. We injected hot water into the Emlichheim oil field. We lowered the viscosity of the oil, increased the mobility of the oil in the um, reservoir and could produce. Uh, later on, they or during that period of time, they developed the steam injection technology. Now we are injecting steam at a pressure of 100 bars and 300 degrees Celsius into the reservoir. The steam, where it meets the oil, condenses and therefore releases all the heat that is kept in the steam. And this helps us to increase the temperature of the oil water mixture in the reservoir, reduce the viscosity of the oil and have a much better and stable production. And therefore we were able to maintain our plateau production for the last 65 years. And I understand you're also using something called mechanical vapor compression. What benefits does that bring? The benefit is that we have a very balanced uh, water cycle around the field. All the water we are producing, we are treating in our facility. Part of the water we use, we send it to our so-called mechanical vapor compression unit. And there we uh, evaporate part of the reservoir brine. And afterwards we condense the uh, previously evaporated brine and get a very clean distillate. And this distillate can be used as boiler feed water. We can use it to generate the steam, inject the steam back into the reservoir. The uh, highly concentrated brine will be mixed with the remaining reservoir brine and will also be sent back to the reservoir. And therefore we have a closed loop on the water side around the oil field, which is from what we know unique. So do you think the lessons learned here with steam injection would be of interest to other fields? From, our, from a technical standpoint point of view or from our point of view, yes, it would be interesting to use it in other fields, but you have to consider the footprint of the plant and the conditions you have around. Can you, uh, do you have enough gas to convert uh, the water into steam? Do you have the ways to treat your uh, brine from the reservoir? and produce your own boiler feed water. So there are a lot of questions that have to be answered in the beginning, but basically from the concept, yes, it's useful. It can be applied in other places when you are looking at reducing the viscosity of your oil in the reservoir. So if uh, the telephone rings and it's Statoil or Shell asking for help, you'll be on hand? First question is how much is our share? But not joking, NAM asked us a couple of times before they rebuilt their facility in Schonebeck and we have a data exchange agreement with NAM and we were willing to give them some hints on how we run our plant, how, how we are operating. So there's a, always a technical exchange between the companies. Final question. The field here at Emlichheim is 65 years old. Is it time for retirement? No, not, not yet. Not even, we are not even thinking about retirement. If you look at it, the field was started in 1944. We are just investing a huge sum of money in, in the field. We are trying to drill 16 new wells, doing side tracks on existing wells, adding more steam to our facility. And therefore we think right now it looks like we can extend the lifetime way into the 30s and with a little bit of luck and that is our target extended to the 2044, then we have maintained production in Emlichheim for 100 years. And that's really our challenge and our goal.